when you hear about the condition that you have a tumor you are first jolted that you know why me but when i heard that there is a system by which you can do it in a minimally invasive way i was sure that at least they will be able to do it without any problems without any damage to the face and that is what dr kasam did le défi pour les chirurgiens ça a été de rendre euh, l'aventure chirurgicale pas plus compliquée qu'un voyage chez le dentiste people like Amin Kassam have found a way with ENT specialists to go through the nose and extirpate tumors of sometimes considerable size. About 14 years ago when we first started this work, you can imagine what it was like to try and tell people that we're going to go through your nose and take out a tumor in your brain. And where we're at right now is a, is a pretty remarkable innovation platform and Ottawa is now the center of it because some of the technology we have actually is not available in the rest of the world today. We're talking to these folks 10 minutes after they wake up and they're going home often the next day or the day after. He's very compassionate. He understands what the patient also requires. And of course, his work is great. No, no comparison. I didn't expect that much portion of the tumor will be removed. The team, whole team, Dr. Amin Kassam, has put his heart. It was really, for me, a miracle. Probablement que nous sommes le département de chirurgie où il y a plus de chirurgie laparoscopique ou de chirurgie invasion minime dans toutes les spécialités que n'importe quel centre au Canada. In 2006, that the hospital went through a strategic plan. One of those themes was the development of all techniques having to do with minimally invasive surgery. Some people think that a Vinci robot is a robot doing the surgery, which is not. It's an instrument that allows us to do very advanced and complex surgical procedures easier uh, with more refined movements. Our patients have been in hospital less, uh, less blood loss during surgery, quicker time to daily life. The robotic surgery program is one component of a bigger initiative. In any given room, you're seeing you know, laparoscopic or minimally invasive cases in many or most of the rooms. And this didn't happen by fluke. This was a result of a vision that was for the Ottawa Hospital, and I think that vision is really paying off. Vous êtes, vous n'êtes pas sans savoir qu'on a un programme de chirurgie bariatrique ici depuis deux ans, au-delà de 600 cas avec une mortalité opératoire qui est une des plus basses en Amérique. C'est un peu de la science-fiction de se rendre compte que bypass gastrique peut être fait par la paroscopie et 100% de cette chirurgie-là est maintenant faite par la paroscopie. La chirurgie bariatrique, c'est une chirurgie abdominale digestive. Donc, pour faire cette opération-là, il faut avoir accès à l'abdomen. On obtient l'accès à l'abdomen avec un laparoscope, ce qui est une caméra en fait, qui est beaucoup plus petite. Donc, on a maintenant besoin d'une incision de 10 mm pour avoir accès à l'abdomen. Donc, on passe d'une incision qui est à peu près longue comme ça à des incisions de la grosseur de mon pouce ou de mon petit doigt pour faire la même opération. Can you imagine having an operation that sets you off for six weeks or three months before you can go back to work versus an operation where you can go back to work next week? The impact on patients is unbelievable. <laughs>